Alright you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and I'm a tarot reader here on YouTube. And I'm going to be doing the monthly readings for all of these zodiac signs. So if you want to go ahead and cross watch for any other sign, go ahead and check out my channel. And I'm going to be doing the monthly reading for the sign of... I haven't even chosen what sign. Let's see, this is going to be Libra sign. I feel like this is Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I love Libras. Libras are so cool. They're so they're so fair. They're so like they want equality for everything. For anything they do and for everyone. I love that. So definitely, you know, portray your energy, you know. That sound was getting on my no on my nerves, you guys. I was like, when is it going to stop? <laughs> oh, you guys, it feels so nice outside. I love it. Three of Pentacles. So this means a commitment, a relationship. It this means someone could be getting married, or you're thinking about getting married with somebody, or someone you're in a relationship with, you're thinking about taking it to the next level. Sorry, you guys got a little distracted. Um, yeah, so definitely like a commitment, an offer. <sighs> I feel like maybe you're trying to get married <laughs> with someone. You're trying to offer somebody stability. It looks like you're trying to offer. You're trying. Maybe you're in a relationship and. You're trying to take it to the next level. You could be a young adult. Maybe like me, right? I'm considered a young adult. Um, and yeah, I do see here some type of commitment. Maybe you're thinking about, you know, settling down, buying a house. What it's going to be like in the next, you know, five, in the next five months, the next five years. Yeah, an offer. See, what was I saying? You are trying to offer somebody the world. Um, the bottom of the deck, we have the death card. The death card represents um, rebirth, you know, um, endings that have happened as well and new starts. It, it represents as well, like, rebirth um like a restart is what i'm getting or fresh new beginnings you want, you want to have a a commitment right um you could be a male i do see this is a male so you are trying to get maybe an offer maybe you're trying to offer somebody something stable stability i do see that here um, i'm gonna take one more card what is the energy that libra needs to embody for the okay okay um i'm just it didn't come out i i seen it there but whatever i'm gonna keep shuffling What is the energy that Libra needs to embody?
this one. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So, maturity. Um, this is a person that has their money right. They have their emotions right. They're very grounded. Um, they're on... It's someone that is, like, really stable. It's, like, no fuckery. They don't have any fuckery, like, type of thoughts. They're not thinking of being no playboy no more. Like, you're really serious about what it is that you want with this person. Because, obviously, I mean, you want to get married with them, right? Like, you're done looking. You're done you're done playing and you just want to have this stable type of offer with your partner i love that i'm gonna take a quick drink you guys my mouth is a little dry okay i'm gonna pull from this other deck real quick <laughs> passion oh you feel passion with your partner maybe this person is very passionate or you love with you love them with such intense passion I'm gonna take this one no I'm not It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let's see. Yeah, this person that you've been with has made it easy to love them. Like, this person that you're in a relationship with, like, they've surrendered maybe a lot to you. They've surrendered their feelings. Like, they haven't had a wall. Like, you proved yourself to them, and that's why they're this relationship flows the way that it needs to flow because they're very genuine that's what i'm getting but you do have to let go of control issues i feel like maybe you might have some control issues you want things maybe done your certain way um maybe that's something that you definitely have to work on is you have to let go of your control issues okay i'm gonna change decks again all right while i'm shuffling i do want to let you guys know i do offer personal readings and I do 30 minute readings for $25 and I'll leave all that information in the description. And if you don't want a personal reading but you want to go ahead and support me, you can by liking and subscribing uh, to my channel. Also by turning on the notification bell. Um, P.S. I upload every Friday. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and see what's the last advice oh dang as i say that <laughs> queen of swords oh dang okay libra the swords represent the signs of the air signs which are gemini libra and aquarius and the queen of swords is the energy of a female you could be a man 
or female Libra, right? Gender, it's not gender specific, but the energy is, you know, ruling with a lot of logic. With being... With being like... Being so sure of yourself that nothing can disturb you, nothing can touch you because you know who you are and what it is that you want. So embody that energy. Think logically. A lot of logic. You have the devil card. I feel like that would go with letting go of your control issues. If everything else is going good, don't mess it up by still having these control issues. Libra, like things happen, right? But don't try to control everything because at the end of the day, there's only so much we can control, right? bugs here i'm about to get out of here you guys anyways i hope that you guys are doing awesome and hope you guys stay well bye libra